It's another Fourth Art Saturday video hop organized by Meridel Abrams. Please follow the description box below for the links to the other crafters and artists. Hello survivors, I have family and friends. This is Roy from Bootsy Sweetheart's Guide to Life and other disappointing experiences. This month's theme carries science and art with a project on how I made a little gift drawstring bag, taking advantage of the capillary effect of liquid. The capillary effect is the process of a liquid flowing in a narrow space without the assistance of or even in opposition to any external forces like gravity. When I was in high school, this effect was called a capillary attraction, and it's known as uh, capillary action, the capillary effect. We also know it as wicking, when the candle wick absorbs the wax or the oil to burn in a lamp or a candle. Here I'm putting some blue watered down acrylic paint into the container and a piece of ordinary paper towel. And what happens is, believe it or not, water the water molecules are sticky. They're sticky to each other and they stick also to the sides of whatever container they're put in. And if they're small enough, even gravity won't hold back the attraction the water or liquid has with its um, environment. And this is a prime example of how wicking or the capillary effect works. The capillary effect has many, many applications and it's a bit complicated, but for our purposes in art, it's very simple. It allows us to make random patterns with paints, inks, and so forth. Here's another example of the capillary effect, but here we combine it with gravity. And it's a process that we use all the time in art when we let dripping happen down uh, paints with it, with paints or inks. Um, we take advantage of the fact that the paper, or in our case, fabric, will absorb the liquid and the liquid will run up the containers which are the small threads and fibers and here gravity helps to bring it back down as well and you'll notice that if we leave it long enough there'll be an equilibrium attained and both containers will have the same amount of liquid it is powerful and it's complicated Water, liquid molecules um, have surface tension, there's cohesion, there's um, attraction, and it's a very dynamic process. Now on to make my little gift bag. Well, that was the science part <laughs> of this month's video hop. And now for the craft part. I love giving little gift bags if I'm going to give candy or, or pens or little tiny trinkets to the kids at the holidays. And I also like to wrap gifts that are hard to wrap in drawstring pouches. It's easy and it's they're fun to make. I found uh, in my stash, since this was going to be uh, drawstring pouches uh, just to hold some candy, I was looking for some old fabric that I didn't uh, have any use for and I came across in the attic these old curtains with two very big valences. They were um, stained a bit and tattered so I figured this would be a perfect place to harvest some fabric for this experiment and uh, practice using capillary action. <laughs> and paint. So I managed to get quite a lot of fabric out of uh, these two valences. 
and a whole bunch of that uh, manufactured lace uh, that can be used. You see there's holes and whatnot in this fabric. But I did get a couple of panels for sure. For this, I'm going to use um, fabric acrylic paint. Some of them don't have, uh, some of them aren't for fabric, but there is an extender, a medium that uh, you can add, and that medium will make it uh, friendly to fabric and more permanent. Hey, what would a Bootsy video be without a big blooper? And here a gob of old paint from an old tube of paint squirts out all over my surface. Oh. Okay, so now I'm going to thin the paint down. Just regular fresh tap water. Now the fabric is 100% cotton. And I thought that it would absorb the paint best. So I thinned it, I think, a little bit too thin. But here I'm putting wet on dry cotton. And I'm going to try wet on wet, wet on dry. Let's see how the capillary effect makes a pretty background for my uh, drawstring gift bags. Well, here are my finished products. This was a fun part of the project. This was the first one I did. The uh, gold spots are gold metallic paint. They ran very little. The uh, capillary effect didn't affect them as much. I was surprised to see how muted and how muted the red was and how dominant the green uh, became. And um, I did make a bit of a mistake by hanging this. And not only did the capillary effect spread out the colors, it also had gravity pulling it down. And I like the way it turned out. It's You'll see, I hope, <laughs> that it makes a pretty gift bag. This one, was, this one, of course, was wet uh, on dry fabric. This was wet paint with wet fabric. Uh, it's also very, very pretty. I like the effect. This one I didn't hang up uh, as much, and you can see that the circles are more defined. Then I took uh, the paint and made a, a, a less watered down paint and just did lines of color and they spread and there are purples in here that aren't showing up as well on the uh, camera but this turned out to be nice as well then I got a little f funky and silly and oh this side is the side and dry fabric and a little bit heavier uh, thicker paint this one is very party-ish. Uh, now, what do I do with these? 
I'll make a little bag. So since this was made with scrap fabric, I, the bag is going to be determined by the amount of fabric I have in the pieces. And I'm going to eyeball most of this. Oh, excuse me. That's not worth, uh, it's not important to measure. Uh, I'm looking at about how big I'd like it. Now, I'm building in a flap uh, channel for the cording and seam allowances. <laughs> Here's my exact measurement. Fold it up to that far <laughs> and hack away. Now I'm trying to find a straight edge. I'm using the fold here. Ooh, there's a glare, I'm sorry. I'm using the fold here as my straight edge of the fabric since it's wonky on both edges. And here's the size of the, oh, I have to get more, I have to cut off more. See, this is making it up as you go along, making it up as you go along. So, let's look at this. And I love this uh, cutter, but it's getting very old and they don't make them anymore. So now I need to just straighten out the sides and again I'm using the so there's that glare again I'm using the bottom fold to make sure that uh, everything's sort of square these are going to hold little Christmas candies so they don't have to be any particular size and they don't have to um, be perfect, but this is going to be close to perfect. Now I'm going to turn this around. You can see there's an edge showing. Oops, I don't want to make it crooked. Okay. And again, here's the fold. Now it's up here. Here's the edge. And I'll have a rectangular piece of fabric. Nobody noticed that the Ruler move then, did you? And don't snitch on anybody. Okay. So what I'm going to do now <clears throat> is surge all sides, all four sides. You can use a zigzag. You can even put some um, fray check or glue. To make sure that the edges don't fray when the bag is put together. So let me surge this and I'll be back.
Science has always gone together very well with art. And here's our finished projects using capillary attraction, cap the capillary effect, to color white cotton and make simple, very simple utilitarian drawstring pouches. Um, this one I love. It's got a nice party theme to it. The straight line turned out much better than it looked <laughs> before it became a pouch. Um, this one I loved also. This is a beautiful metallic paint. You can embellish these. They do well with lace. It's very easy. They're not lined. Simple stitching. Uh, lots of fun. I hope you like this video and this project. Thank you, Meridel. Please visit all the links at the is in the description box for more projects about science meeting art. Please consider subscribing. Please hit the thumbs up button and please share. And as always, be safe, be smart, stay well, do something today to make yourself smile. Bye for now.